So, the Battleground Season 5 is coming up. That's what we're talking about. Battleground Season 5 is almost here and the champions of Azeroth are gathering for a massive gladiatorial uh, contest over who came, who can win favor with the Titans and their keepers of Azeroth. Starting with the patch 27.2, Battlegrounds is becoming a battle arena fit for the gods, but it seems a bit of chaos has somehow made it into the competition with all new anomalies. Is this just another test for Azeroth's greatest champions, or is this something more sinister brewing under the surface? New gameplay system, Anomalies. Anomalies are new custom game rules that affect your entire lobby throughout the game. There will be over 20 anomalies at launch. After the initial launch, more anomalies will be added each week with increasing Increase the appearance rates for that week until there are over 50 anomalies. I mean... I like that. Like, that not, not all lobbies feel the same, that there are like... Uh, strict rules and such. I, I, I do enjoy, I, I think that's a good thing. These powerful rules adjustments shape the course of the game from the out, outset, making each gameplay out completely different. The weekly anomalies update will keep the meta fresh all season long. That is huge. That like weekly uh, weekly updates and meta meta shifts. That is going to be insane for content. All patch 24 7, 7.2 anomalies plus more details will be revealed soon. But we have three to share with you. So the first one is money match, which means that everyone will start at 10 gold. Second is Denathrius Anima Reserves, and all hero all heroes are outside Denathrius. That could be fun. A lot of RNG on that, but that could be really fun. I, I like the money match. Everybody starts at 10 gold. Secrets of Norgamon. And Tavern Tier 7 exists start with 10 extra armor. That's another new thing. Wait, Tier 7? Yes, there's gonna be a new tier. Six has been the highest so far, and now there's going to be a tier seven. This season we've unlocked another level of Battlegrounds combat. Tier seven will be accessible to all players in games when the Secrets of Norganon Anomaly is active. In those games when tier seven is active, it is assessed just like any other tier, upgrading the tavern, getting triple space and scout, etc. Tier seven minions are even more powerful than the powerful tier six minions we're used to. Some of them are familiar faces and some of uh, are all new. I think Argent Brockard isn't a new minion. I'm pretty sure that was one of the bodies, like a, like a golden version of it. Uh, Battlecry set this minion minions attack and health to the highest in the battlefield because I've played that I've used that so it must be with the bodies I'm pretty sure it was with the bodies Papa bear not mama bear Papa bear is a tier 7 minion death rattle summon three mama bears that's kind of weird because you probably want to down that but then you'll summon three mama bears which few of them are gonna buff each other out and they, they won't become golden, so that takes a lot of room on the board. I mean, the golden version is better. Summon three golden mama bears. That could be great. But you need to position this, like, on the other side of the board. So you want everything in front of this to uh, vanish first. So this is going to be the last man standing, in my opinion. Like, the Argent Brokarat is going to be really good. Well, it's going to copy your highest minion attack and health. Papa Bear, on the other hand, I don't really know about that. Champion of Sargeras. Minions in Tavern, tavern have plus 10, plus 10. That's going to be huge if they decide, if they keep Felbat. We don't know if Felbat is going to be in the upcoming season, but if they keep Felbat, that's going to be really, really, really good for demons. Because Felbat will make all the demons eat all the minions from the tavern. So they will all have plus 10, plus 10 to their already existing uh, stats. So that's that's going to make the stat buffing demon build really good. If Felbat is in the game still. We don't know which minions are going to go away. 
In total, there will be 14 different tier 7 minions, the rest of which will be revealed in the 27.2 patch notes. The secrets of Norgan and Anomaly appears five times more frequently than the average, so you will have plenty of chances exploring this new tier. There's gonna be a new hero also. Thorim, Stormlord. Uh, Thorim is one of the Titan Keepers. Golganet's Keeper loves a good contest, so he's entering the fray himself and giving his chosen champion a little extra help. At the start of the game, choose a promising tier 7 mini as your champion. After a few rounds, the chosen champion is given the honor of joining your warband. Imagine what you can um accomplish with an ally who's tier above the competition. That's really interesting if you don't have the anomaly that creates the tier 7. With this hero, you can still have a tier 7 minion. But uh, the hero power is a passive. At the start of the game, discover a tier 7 minion to get after you spend 65 gold. Which is probably going to be around turn 8, turn 9, right? Depends on the minions also you get. But around turn 8, 9, 10, you'll get the tier 7 minion. Which is actually really good, to be fair. Although, the only downside to that hero power is your, if I understand it correctly, it will only trigger once. Major minion mix-up. This, this is the thing I read yesterday and I was like, wow. As, aside from adding the new tier 7 minions, we're also making big changes to tiers 1 through 6. 49 minions have been removed from the minion pool. 32 new minions have been added to the minion pool, and 11 older minions will be returning to the minion pool. These new minions will be revealed over the next few days, so there's gonna be... I'm gonna move myself here this time. Alright. So this we missed. Living Constellation. Battlecry, give a minion plus one plus one for each type you control. I mean, that could be great with a menagerie build. And Bran, of course, if they decide to keep Bran. So those were the neutrals. These are all the ones that are being removed. I mean, I'm not gonna miss any of them. Like, Lightfang Enforcer was really good, but... I'm not gonna miss any of them. Let's see the beast, then. So, we got the first one. is free-flying Feathermane. After a friendly beast dies, summon a... Th Summon this from your hand for this combat only. So it's basically a bad skill, to be fair. But it's a 5-5 beast. I don't in in early game that could be really good, like in the early mid game, but unless you are able to buff this somehow in your hand with beasts, I don't I don't think that's so good. This on the other hand, the new new Zhao. Whenever this attack deal damage equal to the its attack to another random enemy minion. And this is probably enemy minion twice, yeah. So this is a cleave. That's okay. Or we have mechs too. So from mechs we've re removed Harvest Golem, War Gear, Anoya Trope, Cyborg Tray, Crease, but the Mecha Jaraxus. Interesting. Inventomatic. Whenever you, you magnetize a minion, give it plus one, plus one. That's like... That's like a smaller version of the Naga minion that gives plus two, plus two every time you use a spell on a minion. And then we have Adaptable Barricade. Town, whenever this is attack, it shifts its stats to survive with one health, if possible. Or it's gonna shift its at, like, attack and health. That's an interesting card. We need to see that on use. Elementals, remove Molten Rock, Crackling Cycle, Elemental Smogger, Oh no! Upbeat Upstart is going away! Magma Lock and Tavern Tempest. Oh, Upbeat Upstart is going away. That's it. We're done. Game over, guys. But we are getting Bejeweled Duelist. Town whenever you refresh game plus one health. I mean, if you go infinite elementals, that could be really good. We got Sparkling. Give all other minions plus one plus one. Emergent Flame, given Elemental plus one plus one, improved by East Refresh this turn. I think Elementals got a lot weaker though. Oh, we got one. Start of combat, combat summon a copy of this minion. 
I mean, this synergizes nicely with that. Summon two copies of this minion. I, but I still think Elements has got a lot wor uh, worse with this. We got Dragons. General Drakisa is removed, Cyber Drake and Nadina is removed. Interesting. If you had an unspent goal at the end of your turn, this sells for two more gold. Uh, does it stack? Like, if I keep this in my hand for two turns and... Not, well, I have unspent gold, does that stack on top of each other? If that does, then it's kind of broken. If it doesn't, then it's okay. Hunter of Gatherers. After this game's attack, give your minions plus one health. Uh, that's that's going gonna go well with uh, Terragosa. Then we got Warping, Warp Wing, immune while attacking. I mean, okay, that's fine. This doesn't need need a divine shield. But if this has divine shield, it will keep the divine st divine shield still. Yeah, yeah, this is kind of an evil twin, basically. Undead, remove Radio Star, Ghoul of the Feast, Plague Tidewalk, Silo Bones, and Colossus of the Sun. Ah, I, I, I think Undead will survive that. Avenge, gain Town and Reborn. Why though? Sore Loser, your Undead have extra attack equal to your tier. That's actually a really, really fun one. And they have double to your tier. Champion of the Primus, Avenge 2, your Undead have plus at one attack for the rest of the game, wherever they are. Mmm, that's... I, I like this card for Undeads, especially because you don't need Battlegrass and Death Rails anymore with this. Yeah, I think the Avenge 2 is really good, because if you have Rising Riders or something, well, basically a town with Reborn, you will always trigger this at one, like, at least once. I like that card. What about Quill Boars? Prophet of Boar is gonna be removed, Thorncaller and Buffer Quill. Quill Boars will survive. And Quill Boars are only getting one minion. If you have any unspent goal at the end of your turn, get two blood gems. That's kind of a meh minion, in my opinion. Naga, remove Mini Myrmidon, Eventide Prude, and Buffer Quill again. What, what do we get? Darker Spine Thrasher. Whenever you cast a spell again, Divine Shield, Wind Fury, or Venomous until next turn. But what if you ga cast multiple spells per turn? That doesn't that's that doesn't like say one. That doesn't say like just one of them. If you use three spells, can you gain Divine Shield, Wind Fury, and Venomous? That sounds really good. And that's not even that hard to do with Naga. The Gladiator. The Glad Eater. Divine Shield, whenever you cast a spell again, plus one attack. I mean, that's that's fine. Yeah, the Golden is permanent. Murlocs, removed, upbeat, Fluges, Plague, Tidewalker. Okay, that's fine. We got Mercules. Whenever this kills a minion, give, it, give a minion in your hand, plus two, plus two. Whenever this kills a minion, give a minion in your hand, plus four, plus four. Murky. Battlecry, give a friendly Murloc, plus one, plus one, improved by each Battlecry minion you play this game. Wow. Murky, Murky could be really insane. Especially if you get, like, Grand Bronze Beard or something. You create really big... We got dual types. Really? Oh yeah, of course, we already had dual types. Spellcraft, give a minion death rail, summon a 2-2 crap until next turn. It's a Naga beast. Then we have an elemental Naga. Spellcraft, choose a minion, add a minion of its type to the tavern. That's a really handy card. I like this uh, Seaborn Summoner. I just realized something. We didn't have any demons, right? Where are all the demons? Are we, are we keeping all the demons? Dreadbeard. At the end of your turn, deal one damage to your hero and get a gold coin. Well, we have Soul Rewinder still, so this is going to be really good because Soul Rewinder will just soak the damage. So it's a free coin if you play this with Soul Rewinder. And Soul Rewinder gets a buff. Win-win. Wither Spearhide. Reborn, Deathrunner, get a blood gem. 
That's a really good one, because it's gonna get the death, death roll again. So you'll get two plot gems out of that. Peckish Feltrake, Battlecry, consume three minions in the tavern to gain their stats. Consume six minions to, on, in the tavern to gain their stats. But if you have a brand bronze spear on board and use this, you will automatically get all of them. Yeah. It's an okay. Well, that's the reason why it's a demon. And ima imagine if you get the anomaly that makes uh, gives everyone plus 10 plus 10 to the tavern. You would gain with this th uh, plus 30 plus 30. And with this, you would gain plus 60 plus 60. I mean, that's kind of that's kind of fine. Manoroth. Venomous. After kill after this kills a minion and survives, can it gain its maximum stats once per combat? Wow. Twice per combat. That's a really nice demon. Demon undead, to be fair. Mega nice gift horse. Death Rail summon two 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 mega horses with Death Rail summon a one one mega pony. Oh, that sounds so annoying. Death Rails on top of Death Rails. No. This with this with Octasari. That's gonna be fun. Uh transmuted Brambles Bramble Witch. When this attack set the defender stats to 3-3 three, three once per combat. Oh, that's like a counter like big minion builds with this guy. Elemental Quillbar. You can counter really big in big minions with that. Relentless Murk Howl. A Murloc Undead. Venomous Avenge 4 gain reborn. Those are really nice. Like there were there were a few. For example, the carbonic copy. This could be really good. Especially it synergizes well with the new elemental cars, and I'm a huge elemental fan, so. Pirates didn't get anything and demons didn't get anything according to this. The biggest biggest like uh upset for me was seeing upbeat upstart going, but I, I, I had a feeling that it would be removed considering how overpowered it is at the moment. Other minions that got removed doesn't really affect any. Like the Naga card, this guy. Dagger Spine Thrasher sounded really nice. Murky sounded really good. Uh, Dreadbeard, especially with Soul Rewinder, is, it's sounding really good. So uh, there's a lot of interesting good cards here. Can't wait to see what the tier 7 uh, minions are. So we're gonna get a really nice expansion. And now we can play put it to rest that... Champion of Sargeras, and we'll, we'll have Felabat, so we are going to have shenanigans with that. Magmalok got removed. I still stand by that. I think Elementals got a lot weaker. Quillbores weren't affected, in my opinion. Undead got a bit more powerful. I, I think Undead was buffed a bit. Quillbores stayed the same. Maybe even got a bit power, more powerful. Those unspent mana things were really interesting. That if you have unspent mana uh, after that, you'll gain something. Overall, it's looking really nice. It's going to be an interesting season 5, to be fair.